OK, 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 OK. OK. Your house is pretty empty, but I have a nail room now. So I'm pretty much grateful for this nail room. I don't care what nobody say I'm so grateful about this nail room. But this is basically how my nail room looks right now. It's upside freaking down. I haven't unpacked anything. I bought some shelving so I can get some shelves installed. And this is like, you know, where I'll be recording my nails at, y'all. I'm trying to order me a nail desk and some nail chairs, but with this whole pandemic, you girls got to wait. But this is pretty much my nail room. So y'all seeing it from the beginning, from the start. And yeah, and what I love about it, y'all, it has a window. So my footage is about to be really nice and look really good. So I'm excited for that. I hope you're excited too. All right, you guys, so um, it's later on in the day and I'm doing my nails. I know I look a mess, y'all, but we quarantine, ain't nothing to be cute about. But um, um, I started on my nails, as you can see, and I'm gonna do like an ombre with um, this like yellow, and then I'm gonna put this neon green in it. So I'm letting my little Instagram followers, you know, Tell me what I should do. So, we gonna check the post. So let me tell y'all about what's been going on with the quarantine. So, I was supposed to get my hair done. Cause baby, I want my hair done. Um, I wanted my hair done and I was gonna get a wig installed, but then when I thought about it, y'all, I'm trying to change my life. Like, I'm trying to lose some damn weight. So, I went. So I decided on getting plaits or whatever the case may be. Box braids, whatever you guys call it. But we call them plaits where I'm from. So I was supposed to get my plaits done last week Friday. But I couldn't because of this whole corona stuff. So I got canceled on. So the girl was scheduled to um, this upcoming Friday. So I decided to get box braids because... Um, number one is gonna be hot. I plan on recording a lot, so I feel like if I don't have to worry about my hair and stuff like that, I'll be more productive. And like when I go to the gym and stuff and I sweat or whatever the case may be, it won't be like up under a wig and my wig won't be lifting. If I have plaits, then you know I'll just be sweating in my plaits. And um, I just feel like it's just the best decision. So I'm gonna give you some plaits. Um, for all my girls that's like in nail school and stuff like that, like y'all, for me, one of the hardest things to do is marbling. Like, I'm not good at the swirls and stuff yet. So y'all just be freestyling this whole marbling thing. Like, if I see that my marble isn't going well, I get to adding and doing my own thing, honestly. Remind yourself, like, you that bitch, period. And if you want to do something, you will achieve it. It just takes practice. Like, honestly, I started doing nails last year August and I've gotten this far because of YouTube videos like I watch people on YouTube um and I did say I took a one on one class but I learned majority of what I learned by just watching like you have to remember that you're always gonna be a student especially when it comes to doing nails like you're always gonna be a student no matter what but yeah y'all let's talk about this corona thing honestly I just feel like the president is trying to get us not to vote, so he's keeping us locked in our houses. But I could be lying, you know, I don't know. But honestly, like, but yeah, y'all, so I just feel like he just, like, it's something that's a distraction, but I'm not like a conspiracy type of person. Like, I just go with the flow because I ain't got time to be, you know, clouding my brain with what these people could possibly be doing. So I'm not really into that stuff, but I just feel like this is like not the right time. 2020 is supposed to be like my year and a lot of other people's year. Like what y'all, like what is this? Like I'm grateful that I don't have kids and stuff because I'm hearing that kids not going to school for like two weeks. People are being laid off and that's really, really sad. Like that's messed up. And then they rent and still do. That's what confuses me. Like. How is all of this going on, but y'all don't have anything in place for people, for 
for people's well-being and people's housing. Like, it's really messed up. Like, I know somebody who got laid off for the next two months. And wow, like, this whole ordeal is going to last for the next two months. Like, I can't be doing that. So, these are my coronavirus inspiredness. Even though they're pretty cute, but they give me, like, you know, mucus slime vibes. I don't know why. But I just feel like that's really messed up that, you know, is getting to this extent. Like, why are you doing all of this? You letting out all these damn viruses and pandemics and all of this foolishness. Like, leave us alone. Let people live their life. And I'm tired of being in the house. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I like my freedom. And then they tell people, oh, stay home. How? We hungry. We go to the grocery store, there's no food. So y'all telling me all these trucks and stuff, y'all like, I can't send any food for people. Like, people better damn near fight for freaking toilet paper. And then there was like no bleach when I went to BJ's. It was just getting on my damn nerves. This whole thing, I'm over it. I'm ready for it to be done with. I'm tired of the damn ghetto -ness and the drama. I'm just completely over it. I just wish it was just like hurry up and end cause I got stuff to do. Like I wanna go to the gym. Like I'm trying to lose weight. And y'all, like I wanna thank y'all so much. I have 446 subscribers and I honestly like cannot believe it. Like that's nothing to people. But to me it means everything and I'm so grateful for y'all and I'm so grateful that y'all like y'all like me. <laughs> Y'all like me? Oh my god, like I didn't know y'all like me like this, but y'all, I know like a hot ass mess, but it's okay. So y'all like me? I didn't know y'all was gonna like me like this. Like I thought it was gonna be like so much negativity. Like it's just my own thoughts and I really had to like teach myself to think positive. But you know, I'm just grateful that y'all actually like me and that y'all subscribing to my channel, baby. That's what I'm grateful for. So throughout this coronavirus pandemic, shoot, I hope since everybody gonna be at home, y'all subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be uploading some more stuff uh, later on in the week. And um, y'all, I need y'all to tell me what days I should upload. Should it be like Mondays and like Tuesdays or you know Wednesdays? I wanna do it like when all the other popular people aren't uploading. That way people can actually watch my stuff. And y'all should give me some ideas as to what videos I should do. Cause like, I feel like y'all know what y'all like to watch. So y'all should give me some ideas as to what I should upload. And I'll definitely do it, you feel me? Oh, and do y'all watch um, Housewives of Atlanta? Like, let's talk about that. Like, number one, I haven't really been watching it that often because I've been busy, but I caught up a little bit, and you know, I be editing and just watching TV sometimes because I don't really have time to watch TV. But I just find it weird that, like, I just feel like misery loves company. Like. Honestly, Misery loves company. Kenya is not my favorite on the show. I would have to say, like, my favorite is, like, I like Portia because she's fun. Um, Nene, she makes me laugh, but she has some flaws of her own. Um, Cynthia. Cynthia, I feel like she be being a little fake sometimes. Like, she's not that bad of a person to me, but I just feel like, you be on go to check everybody else, but Kenya, you never check Kenya like how you're supposed to check Kenya. Like, I just feel like that's wrong on all levels. Like, keep that same energy. And she always enables Kenya. Like, Kenya be doing some shady stuff and Cynthia just overlooks it. I don't know why, but she just does and it, it annoys me. Like, it's causing her to not be like, you know, one of the girls that I favor. Like, you know, I don't like that. And I honestly feel like um, Nene, she's trying to change, but 
people can take you back from the path that you're trying to go. Like, I'm not sticking up for Nene because we all know that she's over the top. But I just feel like, dang, like, if she's apologizing, let her do that. Just let her apologize. You don't have to accept it, but just get it over with. I don't want the prayer. Like, I feel like Kenya just doing too much. Like, you sit there and you try to address everybody about their business. Um, she went to Tanya and brought um, the mistress of Tanya to Tanya. But this whole time your man was cheating on you. Mm. Karma. Like, you try to inflict so much pain on other people. But when it's you, you sitting there like, Oh, I know these girls want to see me fail. Because you want to see other people fail. You put out that energy into the universe. That's why that stuff is happening to you. Like, stop acting like you're such a victim and you're so hurt. And she's always trying to bring back, like, you know, talk about childhood trauma or, you know, trauma in her life. I'm not saying that people don't go through things because I'm sure that, you know, you know, I'm, I am just know that people go through a lot. Like, I've been through a lot in my life, but I don't allow that to cause me to treat other people bad. And I don't use that as a way to enable myself to be a mean person. Like, can you... Be acting like she's such a good person. No, you shady as shit. You just be ready to break somebody else down. But when it's you, you try to put up this front like you're so strong. Girl, you ain't strong. We all know you was in that bed crying. And I knew from the jump that marriage was just a joke because, like, Mark just doesn't give me, like, he never gave, gave me, like, those loving vibes. Like, it was never that. And even when they did have those alleged loving vibes that she claims that was so magical when they first met, we ain't never get a glimpse of it, so I don't believe it. But, um, yeah, tell me what y'all think. This is Mark Daly, girl. You be lying on the daily. You be shady on the daily. You be messy on the daily. You be breaking people down on the daily. And that's exactly why your ass is going through what you're going through. I just don't feel any sympathy towards Kenya. But Kenya reminds me of myself a little bit because she stay on go and that's me. I be on go. I don't let nobody try me. So I like that quality about her. But sometimes you gotta know when to chill out or when to not um, attack somebody or kick them while they're down. And just a side note, Tanya, honorable mention. I really like how she carries herself. I don't know if it's because she's not from America or she just has like that chill personality. When Kenya was coming at her neck and stuff and just going in about her man and stuff, she kept this so like calm and collect. Like I wish that was a quality, quality that I had. Like I really um, admire that. Like she was really like cool and calm. I would have been cussing up a storm. Like you have to talk about my man. It's crazy. Like you did all of that just for your man to be cheating. And Tanya was just like, oh, that's why she was acting the way she was acting. You know, she needed to get slapped. Because I just feel like Tanya, I'm um, not Tanya, Tanya, whatever her name is. Kenya plays with who she wants to play with. Because if I ever end up on one of these shows, this is get slapped down for playing with me. Because I don't appreciate that type of stuff. And there's a way that you, you know, tell a woman about these things. People doing it out in the open. You never had genuine intentions, you know. For the person and i feel like kenya is so good at um doing things and then pretending like it wasn't out of spite like even with um cynthia's engagement every like candy pretty much told you that she was gonna get proposed to and you still walked up to her and was like oh i think you're gonna get proposed to today like why would you kill someone's joy like it just shows misery loves company. She's not happy in her own marriage, so she's gonna mess up and, and dim the light on a beautiful, um, a beautiful situation. Like, why would you do that? That's so. You guys feel like friends need to go to therapy? I honestly think that friendships deserve therapy because people overlook a lot of things because they won't react like you would react. And I feel like in friendships, you have to realize. Something may not be a big deal to you, but to your friend, it may be something that's like non-negotiable, something that's like full-on betrayal. And I've experienced that where I feel like, I'm like, damn, why would this bitch do this to me? Like, oh, uh -uh, she's not my friend. And then you talk to the person who did it for you, and they're like, oh, I didn't think it was that serious. And you're just looking at them like, are you dumb?
And y'all, they came out so nice. I love them. Like, who you know? What you bitches know? 